Yo, what's up guys? Andy at Football Creator here. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, I've got a nice little tutorial for you guys today on how to make a lens flare to use in your designs like this one here. Um, it's broken down into one, two, three, four, five layers. Simple layers and you can save this and import it and use it in any of your designs. Right, we'll get on and show you how to make it. I'll just drag this one to the bottom so you can't see it. Right, the first thing you want to do is grab your guides and set them and snap them to the center of your canvas, like so. And then you want to create a new layer and grab your brush tool. Make sure the hardness is set to zero and you've got a reasonable size brush in in uh, contrast to your canvas. Use a white color and do one dab on your screen. And grab your move tool and drag what you just cut that layer to the center of your canvas. Like so. And then you wanna drag right out to the edges. And then make it nice and flat like that and drag it out again so this will be the width of your lens flare and then put it in the center of your canvas and we've got that bit set up now on top of that layer create a new layer go back to your brush tool and do another dab grab your move tool again move that light dab into the center of the page again and drag it out a little bit not as much as the first one and then flatten them again and make sure it's in the center of your canvas right after that you want to create a new layer again go back to your brush tool you guessed it put another dab on the canvas grab the move tool again and drag it to the middle of the canvas. This time, you wanna make the, I usually lock the constraints and make it a bit smaller and then put them in the center of the canvas again, like so. And I unlock the constraints and because I don't want it perfectly circle, I stretch it out a little bit and then put them back in the center. A bit too high there actually. So it's a bit just doing this bit by eye to see how your lens flare looks, how you want it to look really. And click OK. Right, I think I'm happy with that. Now we've got like the basic bit of lens flare and we want to add a bit of atmosphere around. So we're going to create a new layer on top of all the layers you've just done. Make sure your foreground and background colour are set to white and black. And then you want, with that layer selected, you want to go up to filter, render, render clouds and you'll get this come up on your screen and basically we're going to use this for a bit of atmosphere around the center of your lens flare. Now you want to grab your square selection tool and look for a, a nice bit of smoky area in this clouds. So I think I'm going to pick that section there and then draw a square out on it then right click and click layer via cut now you have a separate layer with your selection on so you can go back to the rendered clouds layer and drag that to the bin and delete it because we don't need it anymore now you want to grab your square selection layer with the clouds on grab your move tool put it in the center of the screen and then you want to transform it, lock the constraints and drag it out to a reasonable size so it covers most of your lens flare. And then put it back in the center of the screen again. There we go. Now you want to set this blending mode to screen. There we go. 
and then you want to create a mask by clicking the quick mask tool on that layer. Then you need to go over and grab your gradient tool, go up to the top and make sure you have this foreground to do transparent gradient selected and click OK. Now anything black on your layer mask you will not see and anything white you will see. And if you look here we put the gradient going from black to transparent which is what we want. So we want to go from not seeing anything to transparent so our, gradient, our actual mask is white at the moment so it will be visible. Now you want to grab your gradient tool and just fade the edges away so you can't see any sharp edges. So the smoke looks like it's just around around the lens flare like that. And you want to grab your fill and drag it down to about 50% so it gives a nice little atmosphere around around the center of the flare. Now select that layer again, drag it down to the new layer icon to create another layer on top and change that blending mode to linear dodge add. See it makes the center of it brighter and then drag that fill down to about 8% so it lights up the middle. And that's your lens flare all created. So if you go up to view, clear guides, you can see your lens flare a bit better and you can clean up any edges you want. So if you wanted to make this smoke bit a bit less, you just go onto that layer again, grab the gradient tool, make sure you're on the mask and get rid of it like so. Once you're happy with your lens flare, you want to select all of your layers and group them and then we can name that flare. Above this layer you can create an adjustment layer of hue and saturation. Right click and make sure it's set to a clipping mask to the group and click colorize. Here you can change the color of your lens flare. So I like to pull up the saturation quite high and then drop the lightness down a little bit so the colour seeps into this bit here. And then you can change the hue slider to whatever colour flare you like. And once you've done that, you can save this and import it to your designs and use it any way you like. I hope that helped guys and I uh, hope you use it. Uh, if you do and you've got me on Instagram, tag me in in your pictures. I always like to see what work everyone's been doing. Um, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Right, see you later guys. Cheers.